Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 20th, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 3, proclaiming God's word. Previously, we heard about Ezekiel's vision that God gave to him and then some instructions to proclaim to the people of the northern tribes of Israel God's holy word. After God's word was delivered to Ezekiel, the vision still continues. So we continue with this vision. Verse 12, then the spirit lifted me up and I heard behind me the voice of a great earthquake. Blessed be the glory of the Lord from its place. Wow, what a vision. When earthquakes proclaim the glory of the Lord. It's interesting that after the birth of Jesus, the angels announced to shepherds, go and here see this birth in Bethlehem. And then the chorus of angels cry out, glory to God in the highest. Well, we kind of have a similar idea, but not necessarily a chorus of angels, but the voice of a great earthquake that speaks, blessed be the glory of the Lord from its place. Verse 13 It was the sound of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another and the sound of the wheel beside them and the sound of the great earthquake. The spirit lifted me up and took me away and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit, the hand of the Lord being strong upon me. We need to remember that Ezekiel is still in this vision that we heard about earlier, the vision about the four living creatures that had wings that touched one another and the wheel in the wheel and now the great earthquake, all declaring the glory of God. I could see why Ezekiel wouldn't want to leave this vision, sort of went in bitterness because who would want to leave this beautiful account with God? But the Spirit of the Lord was continuing to lead Ezekiel to move forward with proclaiming these words of the Lord to the people of Israel. Verse 15, And I came to the exiles at Tel Aviv, who were dwelling by the Chabar Canal, and I sat where they were dwelling, and I sat there overwhelmed among them seven days. We don't know whether Ezekiel was overwhelmed because of the exhaustion of the vision or because of the stubbornness of the people, but Ezekiel had to recover. Remember that even God rested after the sixth day of creation. Verse 16, and at the end of the seven seven days, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. Just as God rested after the sixth day of creation and had his Sabbath rest, so also we rest on the Sabbath. And for us, that Sabbath rest is not only to rest our bodies, but to also focus on God's word. So Ezekiel is doing the same thing. Verse 18, if I say to the wicked, you shall surely die and you give him no warning nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity. But his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked, And he does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way. He shall die for his iniquity. But you will have delivered your soul. Again, God is very clear to Ezekiel that his responsibility, Ezekiel's responsibility is to proclaim God's word to the people. Ezekiel is not responsible for whether they believe and trust in that word of God and repent. Again, this brings us comfort and should give us boldness to proclaim to the world around us that Jesus Christ is their Savior. We don't need to fear the people's reaction, nor does God hold us responsible for their faith. Instead, God wants us to proclaim 
what Christ has done for us and for the world around us. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.